Hey, what's up guys? I uh, just wanted to do a video to show off a free gain compensation tool by Melda called MAGC. I've seen some videos on this that don't really make any sense. So I decided to make one that hopefully will demystify how this thing works. Um, I was looking at, there was a gain compensation plugin that was on sale for $104, which is fucking crazy. Um, and there's other ones. I mean, there's Letty Mix. This is good, actually. Uh, normally, it's like $9. Like, it's almost perpetually on sale. Uh, there's ABLM uh, by TB Pro Audio. That's good. This is another one, but it's like 45 bucks. I think. You know, you could do all of that with this free plugin. So I'm just going to show you how this one works. And, you know, you make up your own mind. Uh, basic demo of this is, you know, you, you've got a drum, I've got a drum loop and, uh, you, you're going to drive through a compressor or saturate or whatever. I'm basically using this as a clipper and, uh, you know, you got your, your volume compensation, you turn up the input gain, you got to turn down the output gain and so forth. Right. So here, I'll show you that magic is turned off. Right. So we turn this down. It's like, okay, I got to turn this up now. Right. And then I want to bring in some color and I got to turn it down, right? <clears throat> Typical. So this is what you would do with magic. I'll show you how to set it up in a second, but with this turned on, you're basically, I can now play with the color here and it keeps the gain consistent. You can see magic here is turned up the gain 20 decibels. If I crank it now, now it's only turning it up by six decibels, right? So this is, this is the idea, all right? So with Magic, when you set this up, uh, some of these plugins, they want you to put two instances of the plugin before and after whatever plugin is th it is that you're trying to uh, gain compensate or like whatever chain of plugins that you're trying to gain compensate. With Magic, uh, you only need one plugin, but you need to understand how side chains work on your system. Uh, with Ableton, side chains are pretty free form and easy. Um, they they make them obvious. They make it you know it's right here on the plugin. You choose which channel. I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm ch I'm side chaining my own um, audio channel. So this is I, I, all all these plugins in the loop. They're sitting on an audio channel called One Drum Loop Two. And I'm going to sidechain one drum loop two, and I'm just going to do it at the pre effects, meaning I want the sidechain to listen to no effects at all. I want it to listen to the clean audio that's uh, in the, the drum loop that I got here. Okay. So that's the, the second instance or the first instance, let's say, of, of Magic, where like most of these plugins, you got to put two of them. With Magic, you only need one, and you just tell it, hey, listen to the sidechain. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. With the setup on Magic, uh, you can literally, you know, it's just Melda, so you just got buttons and dials and shit that you don't really understand. You can ignore almost all of it. All you have to do is uh, turn up the range by 60. You can ignore input, ignore output, like whatever. Uh, the speed, I would leave the speed at 300 to start. I would not really ever turn it down. I'll show you what happens when you turn it down. It can get uh, goofy. Um or you can turn it up to like one. I'll show you. Um, psychoacoustic pre-filtering. This has to do with uh, like a Fletcher Munson. It's like an upside down Fletcher Munson curve. Basically, it just says it's trying to compensate for like if something has too much highs, it'll kind of turn it down a little bit more than if you didn't have this turned on. Uh, we'll, we'll demo it. Um, set output gain. This is like the most important button on the entire thing. It's basically, you know, it tells... Uh, magic to stop uh auto gain correcting and just leave itself where it is so uh let's play the audio all right so you can see this is where magic is actually doing its work it's right here like this dial here this g so right now it's turning up the audio for me 11 decibels if i turn magic off you can hear this is now it's 11 decibels quieter and this, you know, this makes a difference. If I turn magic on, it's going to bring it to a specific level. That level is the side chain level. So here's the clean drums. 
Uh, so this button here, it's almost like imagine this is like a bypass my plugins button. So we're bypassing a browser right now by pressing this button. We're listening to a browser when it's disabled and then we're bypassing a browser when it's enabled. So we're basically listening to the sidechain. We're listening to wherever this is set, the sidechain here. All right. So uh, with it running now, um, I've got the range turned up to 60. That means that like I could jack this thing down 60 dB, you know, and it'll it'll turn up the gain on this thing. 60, you know, right now it's turned up the gain 39 decibels. If I turn magic off, you, know, you could barely hear the drums anymore. So like this is turning it up. 42, 39 decibels, right? And you can see it's it's varying. That variance has to do with this, the speed dial. So if I turn this up a little bit more, what it's gonna do is it, it'll slowly adjust the volume, you know, like that it'll slow down. You can see how it's kind of left itself around 38 dB, you know, and it's not moving a lot. I've turned this up to two seconds. <laughs> like that's that's how long it's taking to average out. Uh, just imagine this like a, a, an, an attack or a release on a compressor. It's the same idea. Uh, but if you turn this down further than 300, I really don't recommend it. You can see what's going on here. It's pumping a lot faster. And it's also changing the quality of the audio. I really, you know, I wouldn't do this unless you were doing it for an effect, like on purpose. All right. So just to show you. It gets real clicky and weird. It's just like when you turn the release down way too, like way too fast of a release on a compressor, you get that like clicky distortion, same idea. So like 300 decibels, that works good, honestly, for like most stuff, but like with drums, because they're so uh, spiky, you know, like um, transients and stuff, you might want to turn it up a little bit higher. But the only problem is now it's going to take, you know, 1100 milliseconds for an adjustment that I make here to make a difference. So if I turn this up right now, it's going to take about one second for magic to compensate. So like watch. See how that took a little while? I'll turn it up fast this time. See how it takes a moment? All right, so right now I've got it turned way high and it's magic is turned down the gain uh, 10 decibels, right? Uh, turn it down. You can see how long it takes to react there. So the speed is probably the most important uh, button as far as like your user experience that you don't, you want to kind of have it so like you don't notice magic even being there, right? And right now I'm messing with the output because that kind of makes the plugin do its work. But like normal use case, you'd be doing this with your input, driving your compressor or whatever, your, your saturator clipper thing. So got this set at about 390 that's fine right and basically just watch this like watch how this changes it's it's boosting it by 10 but if I turn this down it's boosting it by 25 so it's almost 15 decibels I would have had to have uh, dicked around on the output while I'm adjusting this knob to get my the color that I'm going for in my mix or whatever Right. And then once you get what you need, uh, you just hit set output gain and it stops dancing like it stops, you know, responding to the side chain and just sets the gain, leaves it at plus 13. You can see the output actually shows that it's, you know, plus 13 dB from where it was. You turn that off. Output goes back to zero and this starts working again. All right. So. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, the big problem for most people is going to be setting up your sidechain. Um, so this works really easily on Ableton. I don't know about Reaper or any of the other, uh, you know, DAWs and Pro Tools, whatever. Uh, you know, good luck with that. Uh, just watch a watch a YouTube video on sidechains for your DAW. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show this, just how this works, a, a general here you go kind of thing. Hopefully this explains stuff. Psychoacoustic pre-filtering, this is just like, uh, what I, I think I already said it. it's like a Fletcher Munson-y kind of thing. Hold on. So let's turn that off and on. So you can see gain here is moving. That means magic is doing its thing. 
Let's turn on psychoacoustic fil filtering and see if we notice any difference. We're, we're dancing around 14.7. Turn that on. And it turned it up a little bit, I think. Hold on, let's listen to it. Yeah, it's like a decibel. Not a big deal. I mean, turn it on, turn it off, whatever. I don't think it really matters that much. Um, when you hit set output gain, which is ultimately the goal of this, all of this stuff stops doing its quote unquote magic. So who cares? Like psychoacoustics, ignore it. But the big thing is this side chain listen shows you with the plugin turned on and off. And then once you're done uh, figuring out your, your levels on your plugin here, right? I'm not even compressing. There we go. Oof. Sounds like shit. All right. <laughs> so whatever. I'm, I'm bringing back Gabber in 2023. Let's go. All right. And then I've got a sound I want. I can just hit set output gain. And there you go. Now I don't have to play around with it. I get. I want to change it again. I just turn this off. And then I start messing around again. There we go. And you can see it turns it up to 14. All right, cool. Hopefully this uh, demystifies magic. Uh, a free plugin by Melda that does auto gain compensation as long as you know how to understand sidechains. Okay, cool. Let me know if you have any questions. And if it's about sidechains for your own dog, uh, go watch a video on that because I really don't know your dog. Sorry. But otherwise, you know, let me know if you have any questions. See ya.